let's start looking at our sharing options. And firstly, some of you might be wondering, why is there a share camera option when I already have the webcam down here? Well, this would actually allow you to share multiple cameras if you wanted to. So if I had turned on my webcam and was sharing my video, I could then choose to share a second camera if I had one. In my case, I do. So this could potentially be useful for some people who want to demonstrate something. In fact, if I bring in my student fake user, they could click back and forth between the two cameras. So if I was trying to sh demonstrate some kind of physical process or show an artifact of some point type, they'd actually better go back and forth and see the different angles, see it from two different angles. So I'm going to stop sharing. Anytime you want to stop sharing, by the way, you should see the circle with a square in it. That's our stop button in the virtual classroom. I also have the option to either share files or application slash screen. When I want to share files, this would allow me to share PowerPoint, PDF, or image files. It lets me load it in the virtual classroom, but it makes all of those into image files. So in other words, if I have a PowerPoint with a lot of animations or hyperlinks, those are all going to break. So animations, you're going to want to share the PowerPoint a different way, which I'll show you in a sec. But if you load the files, you can click Add Files, find them on your computer, bring them in. Again, image, PowerPoint, or PDF files, all of them get converted to image. When you're ready to share, you would click the file. In my case, I already have a PowerPoint loaded. And I click Share Now. Whether I want to start from the beginning, it was up to me. But I get to preview it and then click on the slide I want. And I have those various annotation features of the whiteboard from before. Nice low bandwidth way to share. I could have the chat open at the same time and really engage with my class, hopefully. But some of you might want to show something that's not a PowerPoint PDF or image file or might want animations. Well, in that case, you might be more interested in the share application slash screen. So in this case, I'll stop sharing. Again, circle with square. And when I click share application slash screen, I get to pick which screen I want to share. In my case, I have more than one. Uh, I could share just a specific window if I wanted or a specific tab. Uh, by the way, don't do what I do. Have less tabs open and your bandwidth will be better. If I want to share my system audio, if I was going to be playing a video of some kind or audio from my computer, I could choose this tiny little box here, enable that. In my case, I won't. And the first time you do this, by the way, is probably going to look like you broke the system. Because when I go to share my screen, you see I highlight it and then click share. This is what I'm going to get. A horrible looking picture and picture and picture. I always say this is actually a good sign. What I'm doing is sharing the screen, which is showing me sharing the screen. It's basically like a bunch of mirrors reflecting off each other. As soon as I bring this down, whatever I pull up, that's what my students will see. So whatever I share, whether it be a PowerPoint, a site, some software I want to demonstrate, that's what they will see. So a couple different ways of sharing your screen or files.